shit at the pilot. Slot it on. Niggas be broke and be starving, but still talking shit like they violent. Niggas is broke. They say that they honest, how money these niggas gon' say that they got it. Huh? Get out with the kid, it's success, and these niggas gon' blame it on talent. They don't wanna see you win. They don't wanna see the race. No. You don't wanna see a bitch caught up in the stars like she out of space. Ah. Mention at the kind of kind of red dimension, and I'm running out of space. Running out of Tell your homie, keep on coming out his mouth, send his son running. Niggas barely getting lawyer money. Better get some sick soy money. Running around like you're Superman. Don't be selfish, get your mom insurance money. Woo! Cause I don't wanna put it on your money. I don't wanna make it happen to your niggas. What you fucking ran the door from? Hop in the red and I bought it, it's Lydia again. Fly out of Biff in the tropic and Lydia again. All of my partners is popping, you know that we Lydia again. All of the fours on college, you know that we Lydia again. It's your boy Lazarin. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video. I thank y'all all guys for the love and the support of my channel. Y'all keep supporting the channel. Keep uh supporting us. Uh supporting me, you know, as I keep grinding, you know. Uh so everybody, I thank y'all for the love. Keep dropping a like, keep dropping uh comments down below and let me know how y'all feel. Like I say, uh I will be back on here when the Rockets play the Portland Trail Blazers tonight. Uh it's a big this has gotta be a big game for the Houston Rockets tonight. Uh, I think James Harden will be bad tonight, so, hey, let's get it, let's get it going, uh, thank, shout out to my guy Oliver DP, shout out to my guy, uh, Bone AD, my guy Burn, my guy Killer Up Bruce Jr., The Truth, my guy Kadiris, my, uh, guy Ray Ray, my guy Dom, my guy Michael, um, my guy Above Elite, Rashard Williams, my guy McGrady13, my guy Ali, who takes yesterday, Rich, uh, Young Rich, Nick from Central Hoops, uh, shout out to you, my Houston Rockets, shout out to him, go fight at Houston Rockets, um, shout out to my best friend, Ash, happy birthday, uh, Kiara Williams, shout out to you, uh, shout out to my pastor, uh, shout out to, uh, Gamer Girl, you know, that's my friend, y'all go check out on, uh, YouTube, at Gamer Girl YT, uh, Princess Pounder, go check out, go check out at Princess B-Mob, uh, so like I say, Everybody subscribe, keep liking, keep dropping out, keep dropping this NBA content, NFL content out. Uh, so let's get right into the video. Um, I've been a little busy coaching my flag football team and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, Tyron Lou, Coach Tyron Lou got fired, you know, as you all know, from after being 0-6. Um, everybody saying it's a good move or a great, or a good, great move. It's an okay move for me. Um, at the same time, they could have waited till after this year to fire him, but I see, I see why management does that. Like I say, everybody know when LeBron leaves, uh, you know your team is your team is different. Your team turns in to a damn near a lottery pick. Right now, the Cleveland Cavaliers are only six. They're not competing right now. They lost to uh, Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young had his best game at, against uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Two of their home games were uh, ass whooping games. Um, there, the uh, George Hill is not good no more. Uh, J.R. Smith, I don't know what the hell he is. He's a nuthead. Uh, Kevin Love will be out six months. Uh, will be out six months. Not six months. A month. A month. My bad. What I'm talking about. A month. He will be out a month. So that's gonna hurt him even badly. Jetty Osman is a good shooter. Uh, well, Tristan Thompson is no good. I don't know why the hell LeBron got him that contract. Um, it's just a flat out mess in Cleveland right now. They're zero and six. They're not competing in some of these games. A lot of these games. Colin Sexton is going to be one of the goodest players that uh that came out of college for them. Uh, Colin Sexton is a guy is a guy who can uh play defense. I love his defense intensity. I love his energy when he, when he gets on the court. I love his willingness to compete. I think he was the third best rookie in the draft for what I've seen in college. Him uh taking that team. And almost winning the SEC tournament and beat him, uh, winning them a tournament game before they get they, they got the ass whooped against Villanova. So Colin Sexton, that's a that's a plus for them. Uh, Jetty Osman is gonna is good. Rodney Hood is good when he does play. Um, it was a it was, I think it was a rumor that Tyron Luke and Kobe Altman didn't did, uh, didn't get along. It was uh, some issues. Telling who to play, stop, uh, play most of the veterans. And Tyron Luke didn't want to play most of the veterans. He wanted to play some of those young guys. And that's what that's what it started with. You got to see what you got. You got to see what you got. J.R. Smith, you know what you got out of him. He's just nothing but a shooter. 
Kevin Love, you read him up, you read him up. He was doing great this year, but uh, I think Kevin Love should have asked for a trade. I think he should have asked for a trade up out of there, to be honest with you, because, like I say, Kevin Love is going to waste most of his career uh, in Cleveland, but he got a lot of championships, so, and, and it don't hurt him as much. So, like I say, Cleveland is a mess right now. They're not a good basketball team. They're uh, Coach Tyron Lou. I think he was the bottom two of the worst coaches in the league with him and Billy Donovan um, not making the good adjustments uh, and, you know, just not uh, put playing the right players at times. Like I say, uh, he had no idea how to beat the Warriors uh, in, in the last two NBA finals. He was dominated both times. Uh, but that's LeBron James' guy. That's the only guy I've seen uh, take uh, – Tell uh coach, tell LeBron James this is my team, it's not your team, and put LeBron James ass in check. That's the only guy I really seen do that. Only coach I really seen do that. So to me, Tyron Lue wasn't shit as a basketball player, and that's just me. He was a good defender, but far as being a basketball player, he wasn't shit to me. He was he was garbage to me. Uh, but Tyron Lue, um, LeBron uh told him uh just come over there. You know why I'm at. So I guess LeBron trying to be a, get him an assistant over there in L.A. Um, L.A. is having all sorts of problems with Luke Walton in the team. But Tyron Lue, um, I can't get no judging. Is it a good fire firing or not? Because, hey, everybody knew this was going, going to happen. When Le, once LeBron G, James leaves, it has a total impact on this team. And it's killing them right now. 0-6. You haven't won a game. LeBron James, that's a, that's the type of player LeBron James put you in. He put you in that type of position right there. When he leaves, when he leaves, you turn into a lottery team. When he's down, you turn into a legit contender, a championship team. And everybody knew Cleveland was going to be that way. Everybody knew that. So it's not like, it's not Tyron Lue's fault. Sometimes I hate, that's what I hate. I always hate when owners and stuff always put it on the coaches when some most of the time it be on the players who plays on the court who plays on the court who's on the court coaches cannot get out there and do do this shit for them the players got to get out there and execute the plays but like i say uh we got allergies a little bit it's not like i say i don't i don't care about tyron Lou fried or not like i say you know, he he doesn't coach he doesn't coach my team i done told him a coach of my team of uh, my houston Rockets. so like i say i i it can go. It could have went either way. Like I say, they could have let the man stay there and then just moved on for him in the off season or doing the All Star break. But after six games, man, it just—I mean, it's just ridiculous, man. Uh, like I say, uh, another thing: Hugh Jackson was fired uh, from yesterday. So two Cleveland coaches got fired within 24 hours. That's so it's a shit show going on in Cleveland. Three and thirty-six. Uh, the start of his career, something's got to be moved. Something's got to happen. Uh, the offensive coordinator, Todd Haley, was also fired. Uh, Cleveland got good good talent this year, but they were close in a lot of their football games. Then they able they couldn't able to put it out. It was bad play calling, bad coaching. Uh, defense was is respectable, but this offense have not done done a, done a, a damn thing in the last three ball games. And like I say. Go three for uh thirty six. That's that's just terrible. That's just terrible. Two game you won one game. Uh, I think your first year and the last year you won no game. You won zero and sixteen. This year uh this year this year uh you go uh you two you win you win two games. So like that's three that's three wins out of your whole out of your whole three seasons. Three seasons that's three wins out of thirty six losses. That's not good. A change had to be made, and I definitely agree with the Cleveland uh Browns for firing uh coach uh Hugh Jackson. Um, I think he will get another job as an offensive coordinator, but as a head coach, I, I, I'm I pretty much sure I don't know. But like I say, if Hugh Jackson uh, had that Texans team right now, I think he'll be a good head coach. I think he'll be. I think the play calling will be better. But Bill O'Brien has done a great job uh, recently, though. So like I say, it's been a shit show the last 24 hours in Cleveland right now. The co two coaches, two head coaches, got fired, and the offensive coordinator Todd Haley. Uh, they, they were bumping heads too, so that's part of the reason why everybody breaking it up, um, breaking that team up. But Cleveland, I told everybody, Cleveland Browns is not going to go anywhere. Uh, I had them winning four games this year for the Cleveland Browns, so I'm, I'm in good, I'm in good shape right now, so. So give me a comment, like, and subscribe. What do you guys think about Coach Tyron Lue getting fired? Uh, is it a good choice or not? And, uh. Hugh Jackson getting fired and Todd Haley getting fired. Let me know you Cleveland fans or what you guys think about 
uh, Tyron Luke getting, um, Hugh Jackson getting fired, and Todd Haley getting fired, the offensive coordinator. Like I say, it's going to be a long year for Cleveland. Uh, the Cleveland Browns have a better chance, but uh, I don't have no faith in the Cleveland Cavaliers now. Kevin Love is already out for a month, and he's been playing some great basketball. Connor Sexton is the future. Baker Mayfield is the future. Uh, you got uh, Nick Chubb, who I like for, uh, from uh, Georgia. I love Nick Chubb. I, I like that trade when they traded Carlos High because they give uh they give Nick Chubb some uh reps in the backfield. I like I like Jarvis Landry. He one of the best slot corners in the game. I love Jarvis Landry. Like I say, I love him. Uh who else they got? I love Julius Pepper. I love uh not Julius Peppers, uh Jabril Peppers. I love David Njoku. They got talent on this team. I don't know why they can't put it together. But hey, it is what it is. Give me a comment, like and subscribe, you Cleveland fans, or anybody, what you guys think about uh uh, Tyron Luke being out of there and Todd Haley and Hugh Jackson being up out of there. Thank you guys. I'm out. Peace.